You're coming back to us here for our final segment on Low Country Money Talk. And Phil Bloyd is at the desk with us yet again to help us round out some information here on our program. Thanks for being here. I'm glad to be here. Phil Bloyd, of course, is with Revolutionary Financial Group and giving us lots of great pointers. And one of the things we did in this episode, first and foremost, is we talked about challenges because yeah. we're facing a lot of challenges right now. Mm -hmm. uh, from They're coming at us from all angles, really. Yeah. We also got to spend some time, though, talking about ways to combat those challenges. And right. that's really where you know we had, had our pens sure. and papers out taking notes. Uh, before the break, you had uh, just a really great idea about Roth conversions that you know hadn't occurred to me. I bet maybe was a, a strategy some of our viewers hadn't thought about before. A great way to save money. The overall framework of that of that idea is taking control. So let's expand exactly. on that. If we just if we take in, you know, a lot of people may feel, oh, there's nothing I can do. The market's going down, the taxes are going up, the gas is going up, there's inflation, there's all. We need to claim control of our assets again. So we need to be proactive. You know, we can sit here and a lot of times I point out the negative things because I want to get your attention so that you focus on some things that maybe you can do. But there's solutions. And if we say, no, you know, I'm going to be in control of my destiny. You know, it gives us that confidence and we can put that doom and gloom behind us and say, no, I have a plan. You know, we can always plan on the, the government wanting more taxes, but what are we going to do about it? There's things we can do about it. Right. So in the environment that we're in, you know, we had 13 great years of growth. Everybody's enjoyed that. We've got a little complacent. Uh, it's not going to be that way going forward. So most economists are predicting, you know, that, that those years, as far as those big growth, may be a little behind us for now. So the idea would be is not to, to be all doom and gloom, but to reclaim control of your retirement and have the plan and the strategy behind it. Right. And I think to your point and whether or not you would say so, but I'll say so, that a lot of advisors really do get a little bit, you know, I hate the term, but lazy and we just sort of get the picture of here's where we're at. Here's where you'll be in you know X number of years, and don't really take the extra step of taking control, having a, a true strategy to save you money in the future, save you money on taxes, combat you know inflation, all of these things that are coming at us, government spending, yeah. and how that's affecting us. So you really are taking that extra step that is key in our portfolio management. Mm -hmm. Uh, I want to make sure that we do spend another just 30 seconds to a minute talking a little bit about how we can determine whether or not uh, working with you is a good fit and where our finances are now. Mm -hmm. So whether or not you're already working with advisor and maybe just want a second opinion, um, you do something called a risk assessment mm -hmm. and a portfolio analysis. Right. And the way that viewers take advantage of that, and that, that part is free, you call Rachel at their office and you're able to do that. So uh, a good fit would be somebody who has uh, a portfolio of five hundred thousand dollars or more as a starting point and then you can talk mm -hmm. through some of these sure. things as you go well, briefly on that so a risk assessment is basically you answering the questionnaire about how you feel about certain things and then it says okay this is you know it's a computer program we pay a lot for it but it's a computer program and it comes up with a number and you're like wow I, I, I'm actually a little more aggressive than I thought mm -hmm. based upon how you feel about things. Right. Uh, the portfolio analysis is basically going to say this this is what I have at risk, this is how it's doing to different benchmarks, and this is how much it's costing me. So going back to what can we do to be more proactive, if we can arrange our portfolio and our income where we're paying less in taxes depending on where we're taking our withdrawals from, 
um, if we do some conversions to get our taxes prepaid, so later we'll have that tax-free dollar. If we're paying, uh, if we want to take money out of an asset and pay capital gains tax, which may be lower than our income tax, that may be one thing. Or if I have too much in my savings and already paid tax on, then I can take that and not affect my portfolio at all. Or can I lower the expenses of my investments? We're in challenging times. We need to know how we can make our dollar more effective and take control, and then we'll be more confident. And that's what's so brilliant about the way that you strategize. A, you have a, a very intelligent strategy based on each individual, uh, and you really set aside time to be proactive and make those uh, assessments and moves for the individual. So I, I've enjoyed learning from you. I, this has been a wealth of information. Thank you for All right. having us here I enjoyed here today. it. Take control of your finances, there okay? You we'll leave it at that. We'll see you mm -hmm. next time.